Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we get a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. The first one is about Nick Walker. So as you guys probably know, recently he parted ways with his now former sponsor, HD Muscle. This happened within the same week when Anton Voyant was fired, and we didn't know what exactly happened. Was it simply that his contract expired, or that something went wrong over there because they lost two really big names in one week? We didn't know the reason why this happened, but he did say that we're gonna find out who's gonna be his next sponsor soon enough. And he still didn't announce anything, but I think we got something. I think it's very obvious who's gonna be his next sponsor. So as you guys probably know as well, before HD Muscle, he was sponsored by The Hostile. This sponsorship was also very short-lived, just like with HD Muscle, but before Hostile, he was sponsored by Raw Nutrition for quite a while, and he was also coached, and he still is coached, by uh, Matt Jansen, who is one of the owners of the company, and so when he stopped working with uh, Matt as a coach, you guys probably remember, he, he wanted Matt to stop coaching all the other open bodybuilders, apparently, something like that was, was the story, he went with another coach at a time, and he also stopped working with uh, Matt's company, Raw Nutrition, so he went with Hostile, he was there for a while, and then he got back with Matt Jensen, and he stopped working with Hostile, and it seemed like uh, Matt didn't want to take Nick back uh, as an athlete, he didn't want to let him uh, come back to the company, at least for some time, he wanted to, I guess, punish him for like a year or so, so Nick went with uh, HD Muscle instead of Raw Nutrition, which is what we all expected, but I guess at that time, Matt didn't want to take him back, now, however, it seems like enough time has passed, and Nick can probably go back with the Raw Nutrition, because take a look at this, he just posted this video getting a haircut, and I guess he was trying to help this uh, barber promote uh, the, the, their barbershop, whatever, he wasn't really showing us anything more than that, and he's like wearing this, uh, this cover that um, barbers use, but then at the end of the video, when he stands up and removes the cover, you can see what t-shirt he's wearing, and surprise, surprise, it is Raw Nutrition, who thought, <laughs> I definitely did, I'm sure you guys expected this as well, uh, finally, I guess he's gonna be allowed to be in the company again, and I know that he's using a lot of their products, you know, Matt is coaching, he's probably advising him to take whatever is good, and he's there, he's training in the Raw gym as well, he's with Matt now, it's been uh, long enough, and yeah, it seems like he's gonna go back to Raw, it makes sense, but I don't know, man, this is uh, changing companies so much, so often, you know, it seems like he's losing a little bit of integrity every time he, he switches a company, because why would we trust him that uh, Raw Nutrition supplements are good now, because he was saying that all the other brands are good because they were paying him money, it's not like he chose one company that had really good products and he's gonna stick with them forever, he's gonna change companies every time somebody offers him something better, if something doesn't work out, he's gonna just go away and start something new, tell us that some other company has the best supplements out there and so on, I mean, I get it, it's just sponsorship, it's just contract, it's just, you know, his way of uh, earning a living, but uh, yeah, this is, this is not ideal, definitely, going through so many different supplement companies, but it is what it is, now it's gonna be raw, it seems, he didn't announce it officially yet, but I think this is pretty official, I don't think he would be wearing raw t-shirt if he wasn't sponsored by them at this moment when he doesn't have a sponsor everybody's gonna say this everybody's gonna talk about it he did this on purpose he is foreshadowing his new or his old his next uh, supplement uh, sponsor so there you go guys tell me what you think about this do you think it is the right move did you expect this i think it is pretty obvious it was pretty obvious this is gonna happen but yeah there you go it seems like it's gonna be raw nutrition Alright, the next thing we got is also very, very interesting, it is Michal Krijo, and his most recent physique update from the hospital a couple of days after he had the shoulder surgery. So this photo has been circling around the internet, around the Instagram, and everybody's talking about it, how he lost his gains, and as you can see right here, he definitely does look a lot smaller in this uh, current, most recent photo. Uh, his bicep seems bruised, swollen, 
and there is some uh, bruising as well uh, beneath his arm but i guess that's normal after uh, after a surgery like this but the main thing i'm seeing here is basically the size the size of his uh, for example forearm it looks literally twice as small then like the triceps the shoulders i mean the traps the neck everything just seems crazy crazy amount smaller and yeah, he went off of everything uh, since the Emperor Cup Spain, but this is what he looked like right before the surgery. I mean, he was posting a lot of videos and photos, and he was actually looking very good still. Yeah, he lost the conditioning, but he still had, you know, the size. Maybe he was a little bit softer, maybe like a little bit more watery, fatter, whatever, but like this was still very impressive. He was still enormous. I mean, look at the, look at the size of the arms, of the shoulders, of the chest, everything. Even though he was off the gear, he was still blasting full. He was still super big and round and... Look at this, look at the size of his freaking arms, like, he was a massive, a couple of days before the surgery. And then, all of a sudden, he looked like uh, this. But usually, you know, those photos from the hospital after, after a surgery, everybody looks like 100 times worse, for some reason. I don't know what it is, is it the lighting in the hospitals? Is it simply because he wasn't eating a lot of food uh, those couple of days, so he depleted his glycogen and he rested a little bit too much, he didn't train, he didn't get a pump for a couple of days, but I mean, yeah, usually guys do look horrible in the gym after the surgery, but like, do they really lose this much size and volume? Or maybe he's just, you know, not flexing here, he's not really making his arm appear bigger, he's not trying to look uh, big, he was just trying to you know, show us what he looks like right now, what is going on, but yeah, it looks like he's still lost, at least some water weight, I don't know what it is, and here's a photo, I guess this is from home, I think he, I guess he went home, and this is him right now, here he looks bigger, but I think he's also kind of joking and trying to make himself look even worse than he actually is, because everybody is sharing that photo of him from the hospital, and so he wanted to, he, he probably tried to make himself look even worse here, and he's like uh, blowing up his stomach, he's just relaxed, and he's also joking in the caption there, he says, this is the translation in English, I don't know how accurate it is, but uh, Google Translate says, uh, let me be fit because I'm going to lose uh, weight, and I guess he was trying to say, you know, let me look whatever uh, during this time after the surgery because I'm gonna get in shape once I'm recovered. But I'm pretty sure if he flexed the other arm, for example, and he found some uh, better lighting, he would still look very impressive. Uh, but, I mean, he definitely does look a little bit worse than before the surgery. And I'm wondering, what's he gonna look like in 8 or 12 weeks? Because that's how long he's not allowed to train. And that's how long he's gonna probably, most like definitely, I'm sure, stay off the gear. And I don't know how devoted he will be to his nutrition because he doesn't seem like a bodybuilder who is who loves doing every part of bodybuilding. I think he hates to eat a lot of food. I feel like he also hates to train like too much and too hard. I'm pretty sure he hates injecting as well. <laughs> he seems like like a lazy sort of bodybuilder. So now that he is injured and he's not allowed to train, I'm pretty sure he's gonna let go of himself completely. But once he is fully recovered and actually able to train hard, he's gonna get back all the muscle. He's gonna probably pull a Livroni and come back better than ever. But I'm really curious to see what he's gonna look like at the end of this recovery process, after 12 weeks of not training or eating or injecting. It's gonna be interesting to see what he looks like in the end and then a couple of months after he starts pushing things again, but uh, I think uh, he's not gonna lose anything, if anything, he's gonna get better, the next time we see him on stage, I believe he's gonna be probably the best Mikhail Krizio we saw so far, what do you guys think? Alright, we also got a physique update from uh, Vlad Sukhorochko, this is uh, right now, and he doesn't wanna say how many weeks out he is, but we already basically know, he's gonna do uh, the UK, show which is one week after italy so he is four or like three and a half weeks out of the uk now the issue is getting the uk visa and he's probably gonna get it but he didn't get it yet and uh, i don't know if he's gonna do the italy because hunter is doing that show maybe nexilla maybe he can take out nexilla i don't know but as far as hunter 
he can't beat Hunter. It will be just pointless. It will be like one too many shows. He already competed a couple of times and he wants to get a qualification. That's what he's focused on. And I think that UK show, he has very good chances at that. If he brings something similar to what he brought to Chicago Pro Stage, where he placed in a very close second, if you ask me, he was peeled, man. He was shredded and, and like super freaky, super massive. Not the prettiest structure, I know, but a lot of size, great conditioning. I mean, again, Italy Pro against Hunter, that's not gonna happen, but UK? I mean, who's even doing that show? Nexilla, I don't know if Nexilla is gonna continue competing, if he's gonna continue competing, his plan officially right now is Italy Pro, but it kinda seems like Nexilla is gonna pull out, if he doesn't do it in Italy, I don't think he's gonna compete at all this year anymore, so that leaves a free qualification for Vlad at the UK, I don't know if there's anybody else doing the UK show that can defeat Vlad. But there is a possibility of both Hunter and Nexilla doing the Italy Pro, Hunter winning, and then Nexilla showing up at UK. Or, which is much less likely, uh, Hunter losing to Nexilla at Italy, and then Hunter showing up at UK. But I think that's not gonna happen. If uh, anybody is a threat to Vlad at UK, that's potentially Nexilla. But can Nexilla really beat Vlad? I mean, both of these guys don't have the prettiest shape. They are both freaks, sure Nexilla is bigger, but Vlad is also really freaking massive. I would say Nexilla probably has a little bit prettier shape, especially in some poses, but you know, Vlad, I mean, he has a couple of weak shots, you know, structure-wise, but then there's a lot of good shots, like his back shots are amazing, he's crispy to the glutes and hamstrings and the back itself, his side poses are phenomenal as well, front double not very good, but like side pose, side chest, looks crazy, so if he brings this conditioning with his size, I don't think it would be an easy win for Nexilla, I think that would be a good battle, I feel like Vlad has a really good chance of qualifying for this year's Mr. Olympia, anyways right now he is in very good condition, and he's coached by the same coach uh, that uh, Nexilla has, Francisco Aspen, so for Vlad right now it's all about maintaining the conditioning but trying to rest up as much as possible and like freshen up his body so he's able to peak again for the Italy Pro or actually for the UK Pro and try to repeat his Chicago Pro condition. If he does that, yeah, I think he's gonna probably, potentially, most likely qualify for the Mr. Olympia. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and if you guys wanna see more content like this, subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, see you soon, all the best and bye bye.